Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University and Detective Comics, issue number 1013. I'm going to tell you five things about this comic book after I tell you about who made the book. So, this story arc is called Cold Dark World. This issue is called Thawed. We got Peter J. Tomasi doing the words and the story, Doug Menke doing the pencils. We got Keith Champagne and Christian Almi, Al, Almi doing the inks and David Barron doing the colors. Rob Lay on letters. Mank and Baron doing the cover, and the variant cover is Tyler Kirkham. Uh, Batman was created by Bill Finger, and Bob Kane just pretty much stole everything from them. Okay, so let's get talking about number one on this list. We got Alfred's acting. I like when you can add a little humor to a story. <laughs> and there was a part, like the very beginning of this book, I'm just like, uh, what's Tomasi doing to Batman? What's up with this? But it's quickly explained, and I likes it. <laughs> I likes it a lot. Uh, it's good when you can have a, a story that's written as well as it is. Don't think that I'm slouching on the art either. No, the story doesn't work without the art. <laughs> All right, especially that first part. Let's talk about number two in this book. Uh, Batman's Firefly Suit. I've never seen him with this, uh, like they call it a heat gun. That's a flamethrower, brah. I know a flamethrower when I see one. <laughs> so anyway, maybe you call it a heat thrower if you want. A super advanced blow dryer? I don't know, but Firefly would be proud. Um, this is an awesome suit. I don't know if uh, this this suit's ever been shown before and I just missed it, but to me, this looks like the this is the first time I've ever seen it. Is it a first appearance? Y'all tell me, all right? Let's talk about number three in this story. We got uh, the Gotham City Zombies. Look, man, this ain't DC, this ain't Marvel Zombies. It's technically not even zombies, but you know, when, when the book starts to get a little bit slow at some point, Throw some zombies in, you'll be fine. And it totally worked in this also with just a smidge of humor. We're going to talk about humor here because number four. Since Batman has shown to be resilient in uh, so many ways, when Victor Freeze says this, look, it's not exactly an Arnold Schwarzenegger, Mr. Freeze moment, but Freeze got jokes. <laughs> Freeze got jokes. And what he does, again, relies heavily on the art in this book. Bro, this is a great team. DC, be smart. Don't separate these peeps. You know what I'm saying? Let's talk about number five in this story. The Waking of Nora. Yeah, this um, this is something I don't think... To, I don't remember anybody ever doing this before, like actually having Victor Freeze succeed in waking up Nora. And when it happens, I'm a little bit like, uh, what? But you got to have some kind of a cool arc to go with it. This is crazy, and we're about to go into the realm of nightmares. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this was fantastic. Um, finally, i got to give an honorable mention, number six here. Yeah, uh, Alfred wearing a flash mask in the Batcave. This team really knows how to crack a good joke or two, to, or, or five, in order to get you to laugh a little bit while you're reading an otherwise very intense book. This is some serious topic matter. And every so often, I'm just like, okay, that was pretty good. All right, get back in the grind here. This is great. This is a great, dude, great detective comic run right now. I'm loving this. Professor Bill, Comic Book University, class dismissed.